Hey YouTube, what's going on? Fishing15 here. Um, as most of you know, I just recently did a um, unboxing of this really nice case I got right here with the built-in Bluetooth wireless keyboard. And today I'll be actually showing you um, what it looks like, um, how it works, and all these cool functions on the keyboard. So, first of all, I'll just put my iPad right up here. You just open it right there. And there we go. Fits really nice and snug, and you just put a little flap over it. So, first of all, we need to head into the settings. So we can go to settings. We'll need to go to Bluetooth. And we'll need to turn Bluetooth on. And we'll also need to turn the keyboard on right on the side. There's a little switch. And you should see a blue light right there. You'll need to click not connected. And sometimes I get a few unsuccessful and then you just got to do it again. And then you just type in the code. It'll give you a different code every time. 7020. Enter. And then now it says connected. And the Bluetooth uh, signal will flash up there. So now we can head back into notes. And you can just tap on the screen. And there we go. It's pretty much already set up. I'll go back a little bit. The enter. It's really nice. Uh, this keyboard is great, guys. Very silicone -y. It's just... I love it. So there's shift. You can just basically just do everything guys um there's some other cool things like if you hold the alt button you get all these extra little symbols like this you get like the tm symbol when you push the two and the at sign you got a cool tab over here you got basically the whole full keyboard of any computer mac just everything you also have these really neat keys up top so uh, let's say if i'm playing music you just push play It'll play. You can move the volume up, the volume down. You can mute. You can unmute. Go to the next song. Go to the next song. Go to the other song. You can just do everything, guys. It's basically like your iPad. Um, over here, right there, you have the search bar, so you don't even hardly have to use your uh, touch screen. So you just click the search. Search, excuse me. And now, right here, you get the search. So you can search Safari, and then you just tap on it. And it opens right up. So and then you just go use your Safari. So now you want to do this. You go back to search. Uh, delete that. And type notes. Let's go back to notes. So guys, this is a really great keyboard. It's really fast. Um, but I hardly have any lag between the keyboard and the uh, iPad itself. Um, there's uh, really awesome keys. Like I said, you got the search. You got all the volume controls. Your play and your pause and your playback. Um, you have your basic keys like your shift, caps lock. So I'll show you caps lock real quick. Basic, you know, caps lock. You just push caps lock. Then hey YouTube. And there you go. Um, some other cool things are it's got these um, arrow keys right down there. Where you can actually move over. It's really nice. And if you want to select everything, you hold shift and you can go up and select. And you just hit delete. So that's really cool. And you also have a home button right over here. So I can hit my home button right there. Go back to the home screen. You can double tap it for multitasking. You can still do the basic stuff like this. Um, guys, it's a, a really great keyboard. I'll have links in the description of where to get them. I got mine on eBay for a little over $60, I think. And it's just a great buy, guys. I mean, it's uh, simply amazing. Uh, the keyboard itself is just perfect. It's a little smaller than a regular uh, like desktop computer or any of that stuff but I mean it's really easy to get used to it only took me like 20 minutes and it's got some really cool stuff guys so just check out my other videos rate comment subscribe hit the thumbs up button down there again and subscribe up there be sure to follow me on twitter and check out my other videos guys I'll just catch you later peace